every sickness is the first step towards death. Can I talk about sickness for just five minutes? Look at me. What is it with Satan and sickness and diseases? Please listen. I know that there may be a number of people sick now trusting God for healing. What if I go to the hospital right now? Don't feel bad not talking against you. That's why the power of God is here. If they look at me now and doctor diagnoses me and say, young man, I just found out that there is a heart palpitation or there is a hole in your heart or there is a tumor in your brain, correct? Or there is a fibroid somewhere some kind of malignant growth blocking your tubes or whatever what exactly is satan achieving with this what is it with satan and the bodies of men what is he looking for i will tell you if you don't know this you will not see the need for the healing ministry the healing ministry is not just a validation that a man is anointed there are many other ways to validate that a man is anointed jesus was very ruthless about healing the healing ministry is not just some showmanship of testimony to show that a man is a good evangelist or apostle or prophet or whatever no you see remember our our teaching on the the serpent the seed right the serpent and the woman that satan knows that there is a law right it's called the law of territory that you can only be allowed to stay in a territory if you have the requisite demands of that territory i give you an instance if i throw you inside water now you may be able to swim but not forever because that is not your habitation of existence so your design was not made that way but if i throw a fish a fish can stay there forever a man can fly in the air but not indefinite he has to come down even if the plane does not spoil something will happen to his health that pressure gradient will affect him eventually so we now see that on earth as a human being god's system for functioning on earth is that your spirit must have a body that was built before it becomes legal are we together so if there is no body your spirit is an illegal occupant it may not be illegal in the realm of the spirit and in other dimensions of the heavens but on the earth your body your spirit must be hosted in a material body god himself respected this law when he was about to come to the earth a body has thou prepared for me not a spirit the spirit is still the real me but a body had to be prepared are we together now and so christ could come into that body mary's womb did not produce the word of god mary's womb produced a coat a physical body children are heritage from the lord but they need a body is that true they need a body so here's what satan knows that for as long as there are many bodies it means that there are many spirits that can be hosted in those bodies that have wills and can choose to serve god and can choose to advance the kingdom are you seeing the conspiracy of darkness in trying to create the system of clothing and the rest as wonderful as they are eventually they are antichrist systems in an attempt to to clone different bodies so that these demons remember the demons we have been talking about i hope you know those demons are still looking for bodies till today so they are coming up with a system to make robots and educate the robots to be so intelligent but without spirits so that a demon spirit can come into it there are films like that you watch them where scientists try to make all kinds of robots then they invoke to a central machine a spirit is not acting that's satan's agenda but meanwhile there is a level of health that your body must assume for your spirit to safely stay there you know your body is a house god said it is a temple demon said it is a house so we know that both god and satan agree that this body is a house are we together now and so satan will inflict all kinds of damages there is a damage that can happen to my body it will break the body so much the spirit will be will have to leave we call that death a separation are we together every sickness is the first step towards death every 
says, I am sick. I am closer to death being sick than I am alive. So, the ultimate goal of sickness is not to bring you down so you will be fine tomorrow. The ultimate goal of sickness is to start initiating the process of death in your life in hope that it will continue. That's why doctors are a real blessing. Those who work in the anointing hate doctors. We love doctors here. We have a lot of them because we realize that it would take more than a man of God. This damage that has been done by hell will require people who keep standing because even the doctors themselves believe in miracles. They don't talk to the drugs. They just administer it. The drug itself, the system of its operation is a mystery that only God can tell. So medicine itself is a miracle. If you go to the hospital, you attended a miracle service because something in that hospital is beyond the knowledge of the doctor. Are we together? So Satan wants to afflict me. Imagine that I came up now and I'm coughing, I'm coughing blood. Think of what it will do to your faith. One, two, think of what it will do to, the, to kingdom advance. Are we together? Think of what it will do. So Satan wants it. It's a statement. God, you are not, you are not all that you say. And I'm using your highest creation to mock you. The healing ministry proves the lordship of Jesus in a very significant way. The healing ministry does not just prove the strength of the man of God. It's a testament of the dominion power of God. Doctors understand this. The next time you are injecting somebody, don't just say, are you recovering? Expect something to flow through your contact with that syringe into the person that accelerates the process. So tonight, hear me. If there is any sickness in your body, it's a sign that Satan desires to kill you. It's not a sign that what he, he, he desires is proof. It is the first stage to begin to deteriorate you. There are people who are sick, but you go to the hospital and they tell you there is nothing wrong. That's Satan for you. A few days ago, a lady brought me, brought me um, a photo of someone. I think she's here. Just a little boil, Ejimi. Little boil on the leg. And within months, this had rotten. If, if they turn the other leg, you see the bones. Physical bones, the flesh had eaten. Is that a boil? Is that how you know that boils work? Another life attaching itself to your body. Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. He says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, chapter 10, verse 38, with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all they that were sick, oppressed. Sickness is an oppression. If you are accommodated, the devil will kill you with that sickness. Everywhere Jesus saw sick people and they were serious enough about their healing. Think of what happened to the woman with the issue of blood. Imagine you were the one that married her and she was your wife. Twelve years of pain watching your wife every day. And here comes Jesus. Imagine the woman who had been bound for 18 years. Imagine what would happen to her family life. The healing ministry is an end time ministry. It's not for healing evangelists. It's not for apostles. It's part of the tools that make us demonstrators of the reality of the life and power of God. The power of God must be demonstrated upon his highest creation. Not just plants and animals. And tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm trusting the Lord that there are people here who will wave goodbye do you know what god is going to do god is going to turn your own body into a volcano and no devil no spirit the same way they leave deserts in peace that's how they will have to walk out of your body in peace hallelujah 